Great. Okay, so as she stated, we're going to be talking about the variable access programming, and this is the uh, third installment of the variable access programming. Um, today, we're going to be focusing specifically on projection vectors, and this is going to be over a three axis, not a variable axis. Um, once we get done with the, the three axis, then there'll be an additional CES that's going to focus on the variable axis side of things. So for this particular one, it's very important that we understand projection vectors first before we go on to variable axis. So for the agenda today, we're going to be talking about what is a projection vector? How does the does NX use it to compute the tool pass? Uh, what vector options are there available? Uh, how does it affect the toolpath output? And then I'm going to go through a, a small comprehensive demo to show you some of those uh, selection methods and, and the output. So first, what is a projection vector? A projection vector is a tool that is used by NX to project a dot matrix or a grid, depending on the operation, onto a surface so that it can compute the toolpath. So a projection vector differs from tool axis. It's not the same thing. The tool axis is how does the machine, how is it capable of, of approaching and articulating that surface? Projection vector is how does NX see it to be able to compute it? So we have several options, specify vector, tool axis up, or tool axis, tool axis up, away from point, toward point, away from line, toward line, normal to drive, and toward drive. And I'm gonna give you examples of each one of these. So first, we're going to talk about the options. First is specify vector. What that allows you to do is it allows you to select your surface, and then it allows you to specifically specify a vector in which the projection is going to be applied. The tool axis, it utilizes whatever axis is specified in the tool axis level. So if you're a three axis mill, vertical mill, and you choose ZM axis, then that means it's going to choose ZM axis to project the um, vectors down away from the tool. We have tool axis up. Tool axis up is the same exact thing as tool axis, except it goes the opposite direction toward the spindle. Away from port, point and toward point, uh, that option, uh, we have to understand that there's a caveat to both the, this option and the next option. So away from point and toward point, and what they, that is, is, is you either use a entity of the part of the model itself, or you can draw on your own geometry to um, select that point, and you're giving it a point in which NX is either projecting toward or away from to be able to see the surface. Line is the same thing, except line is not an orbital point, 360 degrees in a sphere. It's 360 degrees along a vector, and uh, I'm going to explain that more in detail here in a little bit. Next is normal to drive. This is going to project the vectors normal to the surface. So if you have a, a highly curved surface, then imagine you projecting those vectors to the normal of that surface. So a toward drive is the same as normal, except it, it gives you an additional option, the, the um, back off distance that allows it to help to um, use normal drive and then augment from there. So first we're going to go specify vector. So with specify vector, the example I showed showed you below here, I choose, chose face plane normal and I chose the in, internal diameter of that upper circle. So what that did is it threw a projection vector to the left. The right is showing the preview of the projection vectors going just to the left. So if you are NX and you're looking at that surface with projection that direction, the only thing that you're capable of seeing is one half of the circle to the left. And that's all NX will try to create tool path for. Next is tool axis. This is ZM, so it's pointing straight down at the part. Now there's an issue with this. Now remember if NX can't see it, if it can't project its, its mapping points or its grid, grid on top of it, then it's not going to produce tool path. So if you use this type of option and it's projecting straight down, those sidewalls at the undercut, NX will not be able to see because it's projecting straight through it and NX is not capable of seeing it. Tool axis up, same condition. It's pointing up, but it cannot see those sidewalls. Here is away from point and toward point conditions. So what I did is I put a, a point at the center of that top circle, and the top picture shows away from point. It's projecting it in 360 degrees in a sphere away around that point, 
and anything that can be a, a dot can be mapped, it will cut. The analogy I tried, I've used for many, many years is imagine you having a handful of those very small styrofoam packing dots, it's like snow. And then you, what you want to do is you want to place yourself at the point, the line, or the, the projection vector that you've chosen, throw the packing dots at the part, whatever will stick that will be able to be cut. If there's an undercut surface or an edge over top of an edge and the dots couldn't stick because it couldn't, it couldn't see it or approach it, then it will not cut it. So it's a good analogy to have is just think about throwing a million styrofoam packing dots onto the surface at your projection vector and everything that touches the part will stick. Everything you don't see, NX will not be able to cut. The lower example is toward. Toward is going away from the part. It's going through from the center to the outside, which will result in a no tool path. Line, away from line and toward line. Now the upper example is going toward the line. So that's also going from outside the part into the inside. NX wouldn't see any type of, of surface and wouldn't create a tool path. The lower example is away from, or to, uh, I'm sorry, away from line. That's starting at the line going out to the surface. So there's a great deal that NX can see. I'll show you the resulting tool paths of these options after this. So now here we have our normal to drive. You see how those are overlapping. It's because everything is trying to stay normal to the surface in which it's touching. The NX is going to throw errors with this selection because of a three axis condition. And it says, I cannot keep, move that tool normal to that surface to be able to produce those projection vectors. So now here is the resulting toward drive. So a toward drive, you can see it's going to go um, normal to surface, but yet you have this new back off distance that I have set to 100% of the tool. That's going to try to project. If it can't, it's going to back off 100% of the tool and try again. Not always the correct option. So now here is the vector options and the output. So here's a straight down tool axis option, no tool path resulting. It cannot see the surfaces beyond the blue line. We also have projection vector up, same exact condition. It cannot see the surfaces beyond the blue line. Here is away from point and toward point characteristics. So the upper example I have toward point or away from point, I'm sorry. That means it's projecting it away from the point and three quarters of the surface is able to be mapped, resulting in the upper tool path. The reasoning why it's not giving me the lower tool path is the shank of the tool is rubbing the side wall of the upper circle and it's omitting. Away from line. Now away from line is going to give you some, some similar circumstances because you're projecting it in a cylindrical circle away from that line and it can see the entire surface. Towards line coming outside the part going in, it can't see the surface, no tool path resulting. Normal to drive. Now normal to drive is going to do two things. Normal to drive is going to look at the surface. It's going to look at the tool and then it's going to look at your tool axis vector and it's going to say, okay, if I'm going to tilt this tool to be normal to that surface, does my tool axis give me that capability? If it does not, then it won't give you tool path. So if you create a three axis tool path, and then you tell it to be normal to the drive for its projection, not necessarily going to work. You have to make sure that you allow it to both move freely and see the surface. Towards drive, this is the same thing, except it's going to try to use the back off distance to be able to project those vectors. Now, what would be the best options for this specific scenario here? So if we use the away from line, it used that line, projected them in a cylinder away from it, and it was able to see the toolpath. It gave us that resulting toolpath there. Now, if you look at that toolpath in comparison to the away from point toolpath, it's almost identical. So either one of those two options would suffice for this type of machine. Now, it's very difficult because it's three axis, and this is just an example. So during my demonstration, I have uh, an example of variable axis to show you the how to continue this process into the multi-axis. 
So the TORS drive, it also will result in, an, in a no tool path because of its tool axis, its tool shape, and it's normal to drive back off distance. It's not able to map that surface resulting in no tool path. So as I said, best options away from point and away from line. That will be central to this surface that we're cutting, projecting out so NX can see it. So now let's go ahead and do this demonstration. So I have this part here. I have some geometry that I've created just so that I can give you guys some examples. So here I have this contour surface area. Now away from line was using the center, li center line here. So if I go away from line and I say, I'd like to do the away from line. This is the line that I'm trying to select. And I use this preview. Preview is showing me that I, I can see everything that I'm trying to cut. But this is cylindrical and I have a three dimensional shape here. So it, the better option would be, even though this would work, the better option would be away from point. Now, if I go away from point and I choose the center of that toolpath, or cent I'm sorry, the center of that line, now I'm creating a spherical orbital point that NX can see the entire 360 circumference in all vectors. This would be my choice for the correct toolpath. This gives me a much more robust projection vector capability and it gives me a, um, the ability for an X to see the entire surface. So now what happens when we go in? So before I go further, the anytime you're doing surfacing, the name of the game is one, put the tool in the correct axis that you're going to be machining. And I'm speaking generally for three plus two or three axis surfacing. Either keep this orientation of the machine tool, ZM axis, or three plus two machining with a, with a five axis machine position it, the very next thing that you have to worry about is, can I see it? Can NX see this? Once you've established, yes, I have verified that my projection vectors are correct. Then your next thing to do is to make sure that your tool axis is correct and make sure that you can, your surface can be seen. Once you do that, and then you verify your projection vectors, then you'll be able to, an to analyze the toolpath that, that's created. The projection um, display projection vectors, that's new-ish since continuous release, and it's very helpful to allow you to, to see, can I see it? Can NX see it? Then once you get into variable axis, then it's how can I reach it? But when you're doing variable axis, there's a couple other options that you have to worry about. So same settings, this is my cut area. This is my drive surface. But this time in axis, we also have those same types of settings. Toward line, away from line, relative, but I have many, many more. And this is why this is this has, needs to be a, another CES session because these have a direct relationship on how the projection vector is going to output. Three axis, not so much. Five axis, it, it definitely does. So for this particular option, what I did is I said away from point, I chose that central point. Now what that allows me to do is if I verify my tool, my tool is going to sit here, the tail of the tool is going to be out here and the point of the tool is going to be in here. So now I've given the, the machine itself an orbital point so that it can come in here and, and machine this. Then I've also told it in my projection vectors that I also want a projection vector of away from point, but I have that in the center so that now I've said NX can see everything and I can reach everything. So now when I do this, if I clip my view, it's a central point at which my tool axis is orbiting and then a central point at which my projection vectors are orbiting. So those, those things are key when it comes to being able to do undercutting or surfacing on something that is underneath of another surface. 
but we will get into this in a few weeks with um, following the uh, variable axis projection vectors. Okay. So let's do questions and answers now. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Mark. So for, looks like we have two questions right now. So our first one is, what is the reason I get partial toolpath? Uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, the when NX, there's a couple reasons why NX will give you a partial toolpath. One, your projection vector setting doesn't allow it to see the entire surface. So it just was, it created toolpath for the area that it could map or grid. Um, the other reason is, is if you have a tool collision, if you have collision detection settings on your, in your operation, it will omit the, uh, uh, the toolpath that collides. There's other settings in the operation that can tell the, the, give the operation the ability to either retract, gouge, or retract, alert, or tilt away from a collision or a gouge. So it's one of those three settings that are, are causing the incomplete toolpath. Perfect. And then we have another question, which is, is it common for your projection vector and tool axis to be different? Yes, 100%. Uh, it's, it's very common for them not to be the same. Uh, the only time that you have the same projection vector and, and tool axis is when everything is on top of the part. So if you have a, a surface that's always positive, tool axis and projection vector of tool axis Will, will suffice because everything is coming from the same direction and it doesn't have to be able to view from any other directions. So it, it's common to have certain circumstances when where they're the same, but it's not common and it's a very specific application. It's more common than not that your projection vector and your tool axis will vary because they mean different things to the toolpath. Okay, well, I think that sums it up for questions. 